Okay, so that leads us now to a thing called the intermediate value theorem. And you're actually going to see this later in calculus, but we can talk about it right now with continuous functions. Remember, a continuous function means that you can start at one specific point, so we would call that point A. You stop at a specific point B, and when you create your graph, you never ever pick up your pencil. So you're continuous the whole way. So I would be continuous over this entire graph right here. I don't know what the function looks like, but I know it's continuous. I never picked my pencil up. So what the intermediate value theorem says is that there's some point in there, some point, some random point, okay, that is going to be equal to k, okay? So when I put, so when I put some random value in, I get a y value out. And so what we're saying is, if I have a y value at this point, right here circled in red, whatever that y value is, and we're calling it k, then there has to be some point on the x-axis that when I put it into the function gives me that number. That's what the intermediate value theorem says. It says that for every y value that I find along this green line, every y value that I find along this green line, I can find a corresponding value on x that when I plug it into the function gives me that y value.